So in this Cinema 4D lesson, I'm going to create this light trail effect. So I'm just going to start by creating a cylinder and I'm going to put it, uh, I'm going to set the orientation to plus C and I'm just going to zoom out a bit. I'm going to go to display Gorad shading lines. I'm going to set the rotation segments to four and I'm going to turn off caps. So we have this very simple uh, object. Next, I'm going to create a camera and I'm just going to make sure this camera, I'm going to make sure this camera is at the origin. Uh, I'm just going to set everything to zero on this camera and X and Y. Now, I know that uh, if you set Z to minus 2000, it's going to, the focus point is going to line up perfectly with the center of the cylinder because the camera's um, got a focus distance of 2000 centimeters by default. So I'm just going to make this camera a child of the cylinder and I'm going to click on this viewport and I'm going to look through the camera. So I'm going to click here and as you can see, we're looking straight on at the object. So basically, if I now move this cylinder, the camera uh, moves with it and it also rotates with it. So the next step is to add a simulation tag, rigid body, to the cylinder. And I'm just going to check custom initial velocity. And the initial linear velocity, the Z um, direction, I'm going to set to 200 centimeters. So what this basically does is, if we play back the simulation, the object is moving along Z. One thing we have to change is the gravity so it's not falling down. So I'm just going to go to Edit Project Settings, Dynamics, General, Set Gravity to Zero. So it's just floating in space. So if I just, so I'm just going to set this to 400 centimeters, make it a bit quicker. And if I just play this back, the camera's moving along Z. So next I'm going to create a tracer object and I'm going to drop this cylinder in there. For now, I'm just going to turn off trace vertices. I'm just going to play this back in the top viewport. So I'm just going to, we actually can't see anything because the tracer is um, so thin. So I'm just going to add a vibrate tag to the cylinder. Tags, Cinema 4D tags, vibrate. And I'm going to choose uh, position and rotation. I'm going to make the frequency 1 so it's not so uh, jittery. And then amplitude I'm going to set to 22, uh, just set them all to 22, and uh, rotation maybe 9. I'm just going to start with these values. I'm going to have a look at it in my perspective view, so I'm just going to play it back. And we can kind of see the tracer uh, forming. And I'm just going to turn off the grid and I'm going to increase the speed of this uh, cylinder. It doesn't seem to be quick enough, so I'm just going to set this to 1400. And I'm just going to play it back. Now it's much quicker. You can see this kind of ribbon forming. And we could actually make this a bit more um, kind of aggressive. I'm just going to set these to 44. Wind it back, and I might. Um, I'm going to create a sweep, and I'm going to drop this tracer into the sweep, and I'm going to create a cross section a circle. Put that in the top here, so you've got this order, and the circle radius I'm going to set to 0.5. So this way we can actually see um, the ribbon will render. If I hit render now, uh, you can see it rendering. So next I'm just going to turn off the cylinder so it's uh, invisible when we render it. The sweep, um, sorry, the tracer, we need to set the type to um, something a bit more uh, smooth, so a kima maybe. And then intermediate points I'm going to set to adaptive and I'm going to make the angle uh, 3%. So the lower, this, um, the lower this angle, the kind of more smooth this um, ribbon line is going to be. Um, I'm just going to create a quick material. 
just drop it on the sweep and I'm just going to give it one simple luminance channel. So I'm just going to turn off color, reflectance, check luminance, uh, give it a gradient, click on the gradient and just click this tiny arrow. We've got some presets, load preset, and I'll give it a rainbow preset. And I'm just going to play this back. If I just render this, um, we've got this rainbow effect going on, except um, I want to set the type to 2D V. So this way the gradient's basically end to end. So um, we're pretty much there. Um, this animation is infinite, by the way, so even if you set this to 500 frames here, it's just going to go on and on and on. It's just an infinite animation. Um, so you can render any kind of segment, and it's just going to um, keep going. So lastly, uh, if you want multiple ribbons, all you have to do is just um, go to the cylinder, sorry, the tracer, and set trace vertices. Check that on. So now uh, we get kind of ribbon from each uh, vertex on that cylinder. And if you want to bring them closer together, so they're all just coming out the center, just simply make that radius of the cylinder very small, like five centimeters. And now it seems like they're all coming from the uh, same spot. So that's a pretty cool effect. Um, it's, it's pretty uh, it's automated, so um, you, um, there's basically no keyframes. So it's a pretty interesting effect and should look quite nice if you render it, add some depth of field. You might want to play around with the gradient settings because the problem with this uh, gradient is basically um, towards the end it becomes one color because um, the length keeps getting longer and longer so the gradient basically stretches until it's just one color. So um, you might just want to fiddle around with those settings but um, that's pretty much the end of this animation. And um, please share this and thanks for watching.